Hi friends, welcome to Cadible. Today we will do a simple knurling exercise in SolidWorks. First we will model it in SolidWorks and then we will render it in Keyshot. I have attached all files for practice. Let's begin the tutorial. This is the knurling operation in lathe machine. Knurling tool runs against the cylinder creating knurling patterns. The basic purpose of knurling is to create a good grip on the part. Now I will show you some of its examples. So here is the example of a knob where you can see different patterns and uh, we have another example of a bolt where you can see different knurling patterns on the uh, on the head of the bolt and lastly i have an example of a door knob where you can see different knurling patterns basically this tutorial is divided into two parts uh, in the first part i'll use solidworks and i'll use some basic 2d commands and 3d commands including extruded boss sweep cut circular pattern mirror and then assembly and then uh, I'll use Keyshot in the second part. I'll export in Keyshot and I'll apply material. And lastly, I'll render it in Keyshot. First of all, I'll choose units and I'll choose MMGS, which is millimeters gram second. And I'll choose plain white background. That looks fine. And now I'll go to top plane. I'll choose sketch, I'll choose uh, circle and we'll make a circle of uh, let's say 21 millimeters and press exit and now we are in uh, 3D mode, we'll go to extruded boss command, select, uh, select the circle and uh, we are giving 22 millimeters from the mid plane and press ok. Now we'll give a fillet of uh, let's say 2 millimeters on both sides of this cylinder uh, press ok and now we are done with the fillet command now we'll create a circle on this top surface just pick the circle and uh, choose convert entities so this circle will be converted on that top surface and now we'll go to features go to helix and spiral command here we'll choose uh, reverse direction to make it uh, correct and uh, we'll choose 1 by 8 which is 0 0.125 and uh, go to view cube for better view and here we'll choose pitch to 176 millimeters so it covers the whole cylinder and uh, choose 0 degree and choose counterclockwise so uh, we are done with the helix command just rotate the cylinder and uh, select the top surface go to sketch go to line command uh, pick center line and we have to make a center line actually we are making a uh, we are making a triangular profile so we have to make a triangle make a triangle and now we are done with the triangle so go to smart dimension and choose this line and we'll give it one millimeter and both lines should be equal so will apply equal relationship I think the baseline of this triangle is not uh, horizontal so delete this relation delete this coincident relation as well select the line and make it horizontal now it is horizontal and we have to make a pierced relation uh, just pick the midpoint and uh, this curve and make it pierced this is very important and uh, we have to make a pierced relation not a coincident relation and now we are done with this uh, triangle profile just uh, we are making uh, we have to make another uh, another dimension which is uh, uh, the angle should be 45 so the sketch is turned black so it is fully defined now go and uh, exit the sketch and now we are done with this uh, triangle profile go to features go to sweep cut and we have to make a uh, we have to make a cut pick the profile pick the uh, path and uh, we are done with this here we have so many options but i will not use them here just uh, select ok and we are done with this cutout now i choose uh, circular pattern command just go to circular pattern and uh, i have to select the cutout just go to design tree pick the cutout the sweep cutout and i have to make uh, 25 patterns and uh, just zoom in and select ok so we are done with the circular pattern I have to make inverted cutout so go to mirror 
and we'll choose top plane as uh, mirror plane choose the cutout and circular pattern choose ok it is showing the uh, it is showing error so pick geometry pattern and select ok so we are done uh, we are done with this uh, mirror limb and now we'll assemble it Here the purpose of assembly is to create a better rendering preview. Uh, go to assembly. I have to uh, I have to save the file. So I am uh, making this file as uh, part one. Go to assembly. Press OK, and I have to drag another uh, knurling cylinder, and uh, I have to adjust it. Select plane by background. Go to move component tool. Select rotate component and uh, i have to uh, make a little adjustment for a better rendering uh, preview and uh, just rotate it a little bit and now we'll export this assembly in keyshot go to uh, go to tools go to keyshot and send to keyshot Here Keyshot will take some time to open depending upon your machine. Here we have to make uh, some basic settings. Go to image, uh, go to image and I have to make 1280 by 720. Just rotating the assembly for a better preview. And now I'll choose uh, plain white background. I don't need lights and I, uh, I'll choose a plain white background. I, uh, I have to apply material. So better to search. Uh, polished metal and I choose this uh, blue and now we are done with this uh, material and now using uh, I think 100 perspective should be great and, uh, and now go to move tool I have to adjust uh, both parts from the design tree I have to adjust uh, it for uh, better rendering preview that's why I assemble it in SOLIDWORKS and I have to make this uh, I have to make this a little bit a little bit more and now we are done with this uh, uh, basically these uh, background these textures environments I don't need this uh, for this rendering and uh, go to render uh, these are some of the basic settings and uh, I, uh, I'll choose 64 samples and uh, this is another uh, this is another example that uh, how uh, how many samples you should require for a rendering uh, here I'm choosing 64 uh, go to render again and uh, just select uh, uh, all and uh, choose render here rendering will take some time uh, depending upon your machine and uh, we are done with this uh, rendering so that's it for uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it if you have any questions so you can ask them in uh, comment section i hope you like it don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and thanks for watching